everybody, it's Kristana. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So this week I have something I need to show you. Okay, look at this table. So this table is in my living room. It's our coffee table. It's like the catch-all when my kids are coloring or doing anything like that, clearly, as you can see. Um, so I redid this table, just polished it up. It was in pretty good shape and I had just polished it up with some hemp oil probably about a year ago, almost a year ago. So a year has passed and there's been a lot of coloring and creating and yada 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 on this table. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to create a bulletproof coffee table. My kids are three and seven, so I'm hoping and praying that this will last longer. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I was gonna keep it all wood, but I think I'm gonna paint the bottom just because then I can distress it and hopefully over time it kind of looks like it belongs there or whatever. So I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I have no idea. I have no idea, we'll see. You know, when you have kids, my parents used to say all the time, you can't have anything nice when you have kids. And I didn't believe it until I had kids and now I have a three and a seven year old and so I get it. So we're gonna redo this coffee table and I'm going to hopefully make it childproof, kid proof. Probably won't be though. Check it out. You guys aren't seeing things. I'm literally going to sand this table in my living room. That's my surf prep sander and we are going to sand this bad boy in my living room. Okay, so it's stripped down. I stripped this completely down. What I did is I started with an 80 grit and then I went to a 120 grit and then I used the coarse around the edges, my coarse sanding pads, and then I used the fine around the, the stuff. So it's ready for some stain. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Dixie Bell's Voodoo Gel Stain. So the Voodoo Gel Stain is actually water-based. I do really like their No Pain Gel Stain, which is oil-based, but I don't have time I don't have days to wait for it to dry because this is my coffee table and we would go crazy without it. So I'm actually going to mix Up in Smoke and Tobacco Road by Dixie Bell. I'm gonna mix these two up and I'm gonna stain this top with that. And then I was thinking to myself, I'm a boho girl. I'm a boho girl. And if I'm gonna paint the bottom of this, I'm gonna go boho. Yeah. But I'm not telling my husband. So when he comes home and he sees it, surprise! All right, well, let's stain this.
so I have this rug downstairs that is in our entryway that I'm gonna bring up here. Again, my husband has no idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint the base of this table in buttercream. I'm kinda kinda do what I did with the reclaimed boat wood finish. Um, but you know, this is just a, I just wanna make a boho ta coffee table. Maybe that's what this is. This is all about the boho coffee table. So buttercream, okay, is gonna be my base coat. And then I'm gonna put some other colors. So I'm gonna do mermaid tail. I'm gonna do plum crazy. I'm gonna do some kernel mustard. And I'm gonna do a little bit of the golf. So I'm gonna use all those colors and I'm going to take a paint scraper and do it. You guys will see what I'm doing. So I think it's gonna look cool. I hope anyway. Okay, so I have this plastic putty knife, right? This plastic putty knife. You can get it from Dixie Belle, you can get it from the store, you can get it anywhere. What I generally do is I do the darker colors first and then I do the lighter colors. So we're gonna do a tiny bit, not a lot at all. And we're gonna skim it across almost like you're skimming the frosting on a, a, a cake. So I'm just gonna start, let's see, I'll start over here and I just skim across. Do you see how that, how it skimmed across? So it's gonna skip. Get a little bit closer. I'm gonna show you how it's just gonna skip across your paint like that, okay? That's what you want. You can go vertical if you want. There's right here where I go vertical, okay? And then you can go horizontal. You can go back over this if you want, scrape some off. That's what we're gonna do on this entire piece with all of these colors. I've layered the colors. I went in with a couple different colors or all the same colors that I was using before and I just layered, layered, layered. So now I want to seal the top of it before my kids destroy it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use something called a tack cloth, okay? This is a tack cloth. You can get it at any hardware store. It's sticky. And since this has been sitting here for a few hours, what I want to do is make sure I go over this to get any kind of lint off before I gator hide. Okay, so I have went over this with a tack cloth and now I'm gonna use some Dixie Belle Gator Hide. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll this on. I have a high density foam roller, okay? And don't laugh, we're ghetto here because everything's closed. I'm gonna use a paper plate and just put it on there and use that as my roller. Otherwise, I would get the little kit, you know, the little pan that this comes with. But first what I'm gonna do with my gator hide is I'm going to stir it, okay? So we're gonna stir the gator hide, I'm gonna pour it on here, and we're gonna roll it on.
All right guys, so I am done with this table and it's actually gonna go in my house. So a lot of people who say that um, color doesn't fit, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish my dining room table and then I'm going to do a tour of my house so you guys can see how colorful it is. But I put two coats of the gator hide on here and so I'm hoping, let's, let's hope that this lasts. Anyways, I'm gonna put some pictures of this on here because it is a little bit harder to see. I don't know, <laughs> look at that, there's the table. Oh my gosh, it's so awesome, it's so awesome. All right, if you are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell and you will get all the latest videos that I post. I try to post a technique video every week and I do a 10 minute Tuesday every week. But I'm gonna try to do some more. So make sure you're subscribed so that you can Hold me to it. All right guys, happy creating, and I'll talk to you later.